my name is Susan Redlinger and I just wanted to share an experience I had praying with someone. So I'm doing my homework that Father Alex told us to do. Um, so this is video is at the request of the Holy Spirit and Peggy, but mostly the Holy Spirit. And it, it was on my heart, so I guess I could say myself. But um, before I share the actual story, just a background to the story. I was in Poway and I had to go get gas at Costco down in Santee. But as I was driving down there, I really felt the Lord was like, you need to pray with someone there. And I was like, okay, and just to proclaim the name of Jesus. So I pull up to the gas station, and I see this, the worker, and I'm like, oh, it's going to be him. Well, I went up to him, and I actually, he thought I was asking, I needed help. So I came up to him, and he was like, what? And uh, so it kind of startled me, but I just said, oh, can I pray for you? Or is there anything you need prayers for? And he was like, what? And I was like, can I pray for you? And he uh, basically didn't was like oh I'm good which a lot of people say that when I ask them but I'm like no you're not everybody needs prayers but anyways I just kindly said okay well I just want you to know that Jesus loves you and that was just I felt the Holy Spirit say that I mean I'm like okay and he said oh well thank you and he just continued with his work so I prayed for him anyways and um I then had to go to get ice cream of of, of all things at Keels it's a store near where I live and uh I did not think I was going to pray with anybody here. I had, I actually did also get a watermelon. So I went and got my watermelon and strawberries and I was carrying this big watermelon and strawberries and I saw this man who was like in the vegetable area and he seemed kind of anxious. Like I just saw in his spirit like and in his mind like something's bothering him but it didn't occur to me like to go pray with him. It was just kind of like, oh that's interesting. I'm just noticing this. But as I was walking away, I like felt the Holy Spirit was like go pray with him. And it was kind of like, I knew I needed to, but it was kind of like, ah, oh, like, I don't want to, but I was like, like, I don't want to, but I just, I decided I went over and I prayed with him and, uh, it was like one of the most amazing prayer experiences I had with someone. Um, I went up to him and I said, this is really random. I'm like, but can I pray for you for anything? Or do you need prayers for anything? And he said, funny, you should ask. I just got laid off today. And I was like, oh, and I kind of didn't know what to say. It was like, uh, okay, like, yeah, obviously you did need prayers. And uh, we prayed. And then he said to me that this was a sign from him that God is working in his life. And obviously I give God all the glory for that because, like, I didn't want to pray with him. It was not my, like, will or, like, ego or whatever just to, like, get fulfilled in some way. It was like God was, like, pray with him. And so I prayed with him. And then I left. I walked away and again I felt the Holy Spirit was like go back and tell him about mass and I was like oh I don't want to and I oh yeah I forgot to say that when we prayed I told him I was Catholic because I wanted to know does he believe in God and he said he believes in God he believes in Jesus but I guess he grew up Catholic so then I went back and I said oh um and I may not have gone back I may have just like realized the Holy Spirit wanted me to say this too so anyways I said oh um there's a church St. Therese down the road and I, he's like, do you go there? And I said, no, I, I mean, I, I do music in a church in Poway. So I'm like, well, I grew up there. And um, so I, I go there and I told him it's at 830 in the morning outside. You bring your own chair. And so, yeah, he was happy about that. And then I walked away again, that same feeling. The Holy Spirit's like, go back. And I, what I hear is Matthew Kelly rediscover Catholicism. And I was like, oh, gosh, this is so awkward. So I go back to him, and, like, it's not even awkward to the guy. That's what, like, amazed me. It's like, here I felt so awkward with it. But I go up to him, and I'm like, I'm sorry to bother you again, but I just feel I should uh, tell you about a book. It's called Rediscover Catholic Catholicism by Matthew Kelly, and I kept repeating it so it would get ingrained in his head. But, um, so, yeah, I just, I kept saying Rediscover Catholicism, Matthew Kelly. And this is the funny part. He pulls out his phone, and he's kind of an older gentleman, but not, like, too old, but... His name's Patrick also, so you can pray for him, Patrick. And, um, but he pulls out his phone, and, like, the little microphone button comes up, beep, and he's like, Matthew Kelly, rediscover Catholicism. I was like, wow, this guy's, like, adamant to get this book. And I guess, uh, he said, can I, he asked me if he could find it on Amazon, and I told him about Dynamic Catholic. You could probably get it for cheap on their website. Anyways, God willing, hopefully, we'll pray. I'll pray that he gets his book and comes back to the church and comes back to Mass and finds God in this. And I also felt when we were praying that he would get a job. So God bless you. Thank you for listening. And I just think that God is amazing and that, like, there's times when we pray with people and it's totally his will. And, like, this was one of those moments that, like, 
I was driving away and I was like, I need to make a video about this. It was just really powerful to be like, it felt like a, from the Bible, some of the stories where it says the spirit moved them to do this. But it was one of those things where it's like, I did not want to pray with him. And it just shows that like, it was God who wanted me to pray with him. So don't be afraid to pray with people. And uh, lastly, uh, no, that's it. Uh, okay, have a good night or day. Bye.